Yo, it's Mr. Siegel here to give you your first Regents Prep lesson. We're going to start off with absolute value equations. I'm sure you remember how to do it, but I'm here just to give you a little extra help if you forgot anything. Okay, so we got this equation over here we're going to be trying to solve for x. If you remember, we have to start off by isolating the absolute value. So this 3, it's got to get out of here. So we're going to start off by just by subtracting this 3 from both sides. Okay, let's get this 3 out of here. Boom. This 3 goes away, and finally we're just stuck with the absolute value equation. So it's 2x minus 4 equals 8, all right, in absolute value. Now that we have it isolated, this is when we start going through our steps. The first thing to do is to split the equation. Remember, it's one positive and one negative. Every time you see absolute value, this is how you solve. So it's 2x minus 4 equals positive 8, and the other equation is going to be 2x minus 4 equals negative 8. Okay, so those are our two equations that we're going to solve for. What we do on the left side, well, we just solve these like normal equations. So over here, we just add 4 to both sides. I'm going to add 4, add 4. All right. This cancels out. I get 2x is equal to 12. Divide by 2, and we get x is equal to 6. So that is our first solution. Now we're going to do our second solution, okay? So if we come to this side over here, the second part of the split, what we're going to do here is once again add 4, add 4, and we get 2x is equal to negative 4. Divide by 2, and we get our second solution is x equals to negative 2. So those are your two solutions. Now you might think, oh, I'm done, I did everything perfectly. Wrong. That's how you make mistakes on the regions. You now have to plug in and check your answers, okay? So, we're going to do our little check over here. Let's check both answers to make sure they work. You always have to check or you're going to make some pretty big mistakes. All right, the first one. Let's see if this is true. So, if I do 2 and I'm going to plug in 6 to this, minus 4 plus 3 is equal to 11. Well, let's see, that's 12 minus 4, that's 8 plus 3. Yep, this works out, so I get 11 is equal to 11. Perfect. Second one. Let's plug in the second one. So this is 2 times negative 2 minus 4. Pl absolute value plus 3 is equal to 11. Let's see, this is negative 8, right? So this gives me the absolute value of negative 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Well, this gives me positive 8 plus 3, so 11 equals 11. Okay, so both solutions check, and these are our two answers. Moving along. This one, we want to solve, find the solution to the following equation. Now, if you're looking at this, you're going to start by going, okay, it's isolated. I'm going to start splitting it. So I'm going to do 3x minus 2 equals negative 5, and 3x minus 2 equals positive 5. And then you can do all your solving, get your two answers, but you're wrong. And you know why you're wrong? Because you forgot the most important thing. And that is absolute values always have to be positive. So if I isolate my absolute value and it's equal to a negative number, that's impossible, right? Because if I just had this, the absolute value of anything must be greater than 1. I can't have this. I'll never get a negative 2. And I'm never going to get a negative 5. So this has no damn solution. You may want to leave out the damn there and just leave it with no solution. Okay? That's a no solution. Remember, if it's equal to a negative number after you isolate it, then there's no solution. All right, this is our Regents problem. Let's just give this one a look. This one says 4a plus 6, absolute value minus 4, e equals negative 10. We want to solve this guy. Well, let's do it. So first thing we're going to do, right, we're going to isolate. So let's just rewrite our equation first. Minus 4a is equal to negative 10. All right, first thing we want to do is isolate, so we're going to add 4a to both sides, plus 4a, plus 4a, okay, and we get the absolute value of 4a plus 6 is equal to negative 10 plus 4a. Next step, we're going to split this guy, okay, positive and negative, so we get 4a plus 6 is equal to, well, what we already started with, negative 10 plus 4a. And our second one is 4a 
Oh, let's do it in a different color. 4a plus 6 is equal to, and we change the sign of both of these, so 10 minus 4a. So you look, change the sign, change the sign. All right, now we're going to do some solving here. If you look on this side, all right, I have 4a on both sides. So if I subtract 4a on both sides, these are going to cancel. I get 6 equals negative 10. That doesn't even make sense, so there's no solution here. Okay, so this one, there's no solution for. Doesn't even make sense. So let's move on to the second one. The second one, oops, what we're going to do is add 4a to both sides to start with. Let's do add 4a. I'm going to add 4a. All right, and that gives us 8a plus 6 equals 10. Subtract 6 from both sides. We get 8a a equals 4. And finally, if we divide, we get a equals one half. Now I know what you're saying. I got a equals one half. You go up over here, we see it's in the solution set over here, and we mark our answer. And guess what? You just got it wrong. You know why? Because you forgot to check. Remember, that's the third step. So let's see, would that even actually work? So if I did the absolute value of four times a half plus six minus four times a half, does this all give me negative 10? Well, this will give me 2 plus 6 minus 2 equals negative 10. This gives me positive 8 minus 2 equals negative 10. And finally, I get 6 equals negative 10. So that is not correct. So let's see. Our first one had no solution. This, we found out, doesn't even work. So our final answer is just going to be no solution. And that's what this means. That means no or no solution. The answer was one. So the moral of the story is this is a real regions question. If you don't do it, check, you're going to get screwed. So this is Mr. Siegel saying, remember guys, always, 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 always clean up after your pets. It's illegal not to.